Hi, this is Leo from ThemeChills.com and in this video I'm just going to show you how to work with the customizer. So firstly, I've created uh, already a page um, that inherits the home page templates and I've assigned it the front page. Do the same also for posts page. You don't have to have a post page, but it's probably worth having one. I've created one just labeled blog. So once that's done, you now have the ability to um, include the components that you want for your home page. I'll start with the first section. As you can see, you can modify the site title, tagline, and logo. If you modify the site title and tagline, but don't include a logo, then you'll see what you're seeing here. And the opposite will be true if you upload a logo. This will disappear. So, just bear that in mind. Next up, you have the full color palette here. As you can see, everything is labeled so you know exactly what you'll be changing. Next we have a header image. Now you can have this as a static image or you can have a slideshow. I'll show you what the slideshow looks like. So we'll add an image. We'll assign this one. I'll skip cropping. And I'll add another one. Super simple as you can see. Okay. And then you can toggle the transition time. Let's put six seconds. Okay. Now that'll start transitioning shortly. And as you can see, there it goes. Now we can add the hero text message. So what I'll do, I'll just find the example that I have in the live preview just to speed things up. So just bear with me. So we're back now. Um, as you can see, I've just added some text here to line one. And let's just put line two, married. And in text line three, I have the date. So let's go with Saturday 14th, 2016. 16. As you can see, it's updating in real time. And we'll put the address. There you go. Now, you can leave it as that if you wanted to, or you can actually add a call to action button. So what will happen is you would have created another page, for example, called RSVP. And what you'll do, you'll be able to assign it to the button. And then you can change the text to that as well. So you can say so you go RSVP today. And there you go. So as I said, it'll just um, auto-populate this based upon the amount of pages that you have currently published. Next up, the background image. You would know how to use that. You can add pretty much any background image you like and then just change according to what you need. The navigation. I don't have one selected here at the moment, but if I wanted to select primary, there you go. It'll create it. Let's just leave that blank for now. And then this is one of my favorite areas where you actually start adding widgets so for example what is the first part we had here our story yeah our story so if I do that you can just start adding the required section so on and so forth. Signatures is an area where you can actually upload uh, the, the path where your image is stored and then you'll get a cool look like that. The photo section, this carousel that you see here, um, I'll show you how to do that in a separate video but pretty much once you have that uh, created it'll start showing up in the corresponding area. Uh, the other widgets I'll show you separately just to keep this video short but that's pretty much what you can do through the customizer. It's pretty cool. You can add anything you like. You can add call to actions um, and yeah it's uh, pretty awesome. So if you have any questions you know where I am just uh, feel free to touch base and I'd be happy to help you out. Thanks for now.